Okay, so welcome everybody. My name is Jeff Turnbull and I am a client services manager at CSOLS, the leading informatics, lab informatics consulting company. And today I'm joined by Mark Grable from Simplica and John Walker from Labware. Together today, we're going to demonstrate the business benefits of extending Labware limbs beyond the lab. And we're going to do this through the use of a case study. So the overall outline of this webinar is as follows. We're first going to introduce you to the client. We're going to then uh, introduce you to the challenges that the client faced. We're going to present the solution to their challenges. And then we're going to give a demo of the UI. So while we're going to be talking uh, a little bit about uh, Labware limbs and the configuration of Labware limbs, our primary focus today is the use of the Simplica UI to extend Labware limbs outside of the lab. And finally, uh, well actually, and ultimately, we will then go through and review the business results that have been achieved by our client using the solution. And then we're going to open it up for Q&A, and we'll try and address as many questions as you have in the time allotted to this webinar. So who is the client? Well, the client is Analysts, Inc. They have uh, five labs in North America, have approximately 100 lab technicians and data analysts supporting their clients. They are and have been a recognized leader in oil and lubricants analysis since the early 60s. They work with uh, across a variety of industries, in fact across most industries, with companies who are uh, keen on managing their equipment through proactive management of the lubricants within their equipment. Through the analysis of these lubricants over time, AI is able to identify the first signs of critical wear and importantly recommend uh, proactive action to pre pre bleh, prevent any catastrophic failure of the equipment. AI does this by through using sophisticated analytical techniques, and I'm not going to go through all of those uh, that are listed on this page right now. Uh, and in addition to the uh, analytical testing that they do, they also interpret the, the results, and that the interpretation spans across time, and they also recommend preventative actions, actions such as potentially being change the oil viscosity for this specific piece of equipment at this specific site, or maybe just increase the frequency at which you change the uh, oil within this equipment type. They, prior to this project, used a custom-grown limbs, and the custom-grown homegrown limbs was adequate for the support of lab operations, but became inadequate to support the customers. And why is that? Well, the overall driving force for change was customers' online demands. And AI have many thousands of customers, and each of these customers, just like the rest of us, are used to being able to do a lot of work online with the companies that we do business with. We wouldn't even consider these days opening up a bank account if the bank didn't provide online services. Similarly, with uh, other businesses supporting customers, the expectations of the customers are increasingly, how can I do this online? Why do I have to make a phone call when I could just do it online? So the driving force for change really was customers' online demands. And if you sort of think about it and, and make an, an analogy to what uh, you and I do, when we're working with a bank account, uh, uh, account or credit card account, when we submit samples, we need to be able to see that those samples have been submitted and follow their progress through the system. Similarly, in the banking environment, we want to be able to do things online. We want to be able to see that our money has been deposited. 
We also want to be able to extract from the, the system results. We want to be able to pull them when we want them from the system. Similarly, in a banking environment, we would want to be able to look to make sure that the deposit has in fact been recorded in our bank account balance. Customers are also looking for, and this spans all applications, the ability to do some analysis on their transactions within the system. So if, if you look at a, a, maybe you have a 401k account, again, you wouldn't do business with a company that didn't provide you some trending and reporting capabilities on the funds that you have deposited with them. Similarly, rather than waiting for reports that are published once weekly, uh, AI's customers were looking for ways to online access trending and analytical data. Also, using a comparison to banking, uh, if your bank balance is getting low, it is good to know before you actually get overdrawn. And hence, notifications are something that you can request from most bank sites. Similarly, with AI's customers, what they need to know is as soon as possible, any signs of catastrophic failure that can be prevented by a recommended action. So they want to have the ability to have online notifications. In addition to that, they, uh, the clients, the customers want to be able to manage their equipment pieces. They want to be able to move them from one site to another where perhaps the operating conditions are very different. They also want to be able to specify who within their company can access what information associated with their company. They don't want to make a phone, have to make a phone call and say, hey, can you please add this user uh, with these uh, privileges to this account? Very much like a Netflix account where you can set up different viewing privileges online for your children and your wife. So those are the driving forces for change, but if those weren't enough, there are other challenges associated with AI.